in uh, 1897. I went to Atlanta University and stayed there 13 years, making a systematic study of the American Negro, which wasn't well done because we didn't have money enough or personnel to carry it out. But nevertheless, it's fair to say that for the next 25 years, there wasn't a book published on the Negro problem that didn't have to depend upon what we were doing at Atlanta University. It was the first study of the sort. Ours was the first institution in the United States, white or black, that had any course on the history of the American Negro or on Negro history in general. So that it was a good beginning. But while I was there, my faith in knowledge as a solution of the Negro problem was shaken. Uh, lynching was common. Before I went away from there, there was an average of one lynching every week for some years. And it was a terrible sort of thing. There was one uh, case very near Atlanta in which I knew from my studies just what had happened. It was a case of a Negro peasant not receiving his wages at the end of the season. He got in a fight with his uh, hirer and killed him and uh, ran away. And then when they couldn't find him, they uh, raised the altogether new issue that he had raped the man's wife, which was evidently just dragged in. Well, I had a letter which I hadn't delivered to Joel Chandler Harris, uh, the uh, author of the Uncle Remus Tales. He was then on the Atlanta Constitution. So I took that letter and started downtown to deliver it to him and to talk to him about this situation. And on the way down, I found that this Negro, Sam Hose, had been caught and lynched, and that in the meat market, which was on the way that I had to pass, his uh, fingers and toes were being exhibited. Well, I didn't deliver the letter. I went back to Atlanta University. And then I made up my mind that knowledge wasn't enough. That even if people were ignorant of essential matters which they had to know, they wouldn't correct their actions without more realization of just what the difficulties were. They, they had not only to know, but they had to act.